Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Forge. Let us begin. Random opponent start. So last time we won, but uh, it was kind of a close call. Let's see if we can replicate that right now. So we, we have a nice starting hand. I And we, we're also the ones to start the game. So let's start with uh, putting down a forest card. I, I really like this starting hand. I think we're doing quite fine for ourselves. Let's summon Initiate's Companion just because it has higher power. It's got free power, which is enough to do some damage to our opponent. So let's now summon Resilient Kenra. And Resilient Kenra, since I summoned it, now I get to place... Uh, uh, Oh, I may I may get to decide a target creature to get plus two plus two until the end of turn. So let's do that with uh, with Initiate's Companion. So Initiate's Companion grew from three slash one to five slash three, and now we can just Alpha Strike him with Initiate's Companion. We do five damage to it, and because Initiate's Companion did damage to a player, I may I may get to untap a target creature or land. Let's untap a forest land. Now let's move on. So he used the Splendid Agony to kill one of my creatures. It's fine. I think we we will be able to manage quite quite well for ourselves. Let's put down another forest. And because there's nothing else we can do, let's uh, let's uh, attack him with Initiate's Companion. So let's uh, untap him afterwards. He summoned Kefnir the Mindful, which is a 5 slash 5 flying indestructible god creature. We, but uh, Kefnir the Mindful cannot attack or block unless he has seven or more cards in his hand. And also for one blue mana and three other mana he may draw a card. Then he may return a land he controls to, the, to that card's uh, owner's hand. So he needs seven or more cards in his hand to use Kefnir. Uh, Kefnir the Mindful and he only has 5 cards in his hands at this point. So he cannot use that effectively just yet. Which kind of sucks for him. Now, we do not have enough, uh, enough mana to do anything significant. So let's attack him with Initiate's Companion. I may uh, untap that. What did he just do? He used Comet. To put my Initiate's Companion uh, on top of my library. Or uh, it's not on top of my library, but uh, whatever. Let's finally summon... Uh, yeah, let's summon Shiftnet Monitor. Shiftnet Monitor, sorry. Because we finally have the mana to do so. Now he used final reward to exile our Schaefer monitor from uh, our hand. Now we get back Initiate's Companion, but uh, that won't do us much good. Let's summon Honored Hydra instead. So he used the... Uh, he used Memory to force both of us to shuffle our graveyards and hand. Wait, each player shuffles their graveyard and hand into their library, then draws seven cards. Shadow Storm, Vizier and me drew seven cards. So right now, uh, all of our graveyards have been emptied, but now that means that he can use uh, Kefnet the Mindful, which really sucks. Okay, that's fine. So now he can attack me with that. I will have to defend myself with it. Let's use Ambuscade 
to destroy uh, his creature. I wonder if the the indestructible will apply in this circumstance. Yep, it still applies. So that's uh, that's not good for me. Let's summon Roma run as the indominatable. Just because we can. And also scream sprites. And now let's just alpha strike him. He he cannot defend himself from us. He used the final reward again to take out one of our creatures. But it doesn't really matter. We just won. Either way. He will not be able to block to block all of our attacks. So we won. We removed from his deck a ruthless sniper. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, get back to business. Let's... Uh, okay, so I'm fine with... Wait, am I fine with the starting hand? I kind of am not because I don't have any low uh, cost creature to summon. But we already won a match. We might as well go with this. I feel like we can handle it. Let's put down a forest card. Uh, another forest card. So he summoned the uh, Heck Heckma Sentinels, which is a 2 slash free human cleric creature, which has whenever you cycle or discard a card, Heckma Sentinels gets plus one plus plus one plus one until the end of turn. Okay. Uh, we cannot summon Giant Spider just yet. That would require four mana from us, and we only have three. So let's end our turn. He is going to use Hekma Sentinels to attack us. But now we can finally summon Giant Spider and be able to block him on the next couple of turns. He summoned Pitiless Vizier now, which is a 4 slash 2 Minotaur Cleric creature, which has whenever you cycle or discard a card, Pitiless Vizier gains indestructible until the end of turn. Okay. Okay, so how's this going? Target creature gets plus 3 plus 3 and gains trample until the end of turn. That sounds useful. Uh, and Cartouche of Strength. Enchant creature you control. When Cartouche of Strength enters the battlefield, you may have enchanted creature fight target creature an opponent controls. And also enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 and has trample. Yeah, that sounds good actually. Let's use Cartouche of Strength. Now, which one of his creatures do I want to attack? Do I want... Whichever it's, it's going to be, it will, uh, it will kill them. So, it's either Hekma Sentinels or Pitiless Vizier. I kind of want to remove Pitiless Vizier just because it has more damage. So, let's do that. More power, sorry. Okay, this is fine. Now let's just end our turn. He used Comet to put my Giant Spider 2 from the top of my library. Okay, so the next turn we will draw Giant Spider. Let's keep that in mind. So now we have 6 uh, forest mana, 6 green mana, sorry. Can we? We cannot do anything just yet. All of our cards, all of our creature cards in our hand require seven mana at least. So uh, nothing we can do just yet. He's going to attack us with Hekma Sentinels again, but now we we can finally summon Sifter Worm. So yeah, another another uh, forest uh, card will definitely be useful for us. Let's end our turn. He used final reward to exile our sifter worm, which is a really pathetic way of doing things, but okay. We, uh, uh, thankfully we have another uh, sifter worm to use. So yeah, let's, uh, do we need an, uh, uh, our neg as, as it stands, we will get an ancient brontodon our, our, in our next turn, which will require 8 mana to summon. Do we have 8 mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, we do. So let's leave it as it is. I think this is fine. 
So he used Vizier of Stumbling Sands to untap a swamp. Wait, what did he do? He put two minus one minus one counters on Sifter Worm. Ah, he used Splendid Agony to distribute two minus one minus one counters among Sifter Worm. Which is kind of fucking bad, but I'll try to deal with it. It doesn't really matter since we're going to summon Ancient Brontodon, and this is going to make things so much more difficult for him. So yeah, let's just uh, Alpha Strike him. We're, we're finally going into the offensive. Okay, so... Uh, he emptied our graveyards and uh, reshuffled everything we have in our hands and put them back in our libraries. So that's, uh, that's something. But we have enough mana to start doing some serious fucking damage to him. So let's summon skill Behemoth. And we also have enough mana to... Put down Emergent Growth. To cast Emergent Growth. Let's cast it on Ancient Brontodon. And let's just go to town on him, baby. So he just got... Uh, wrecked. I'm not particularly worried about anything at this point because we just, uh, even with the sp with Splendid Agony weakening Ancient Brontodon, Ancient uh, Brontodon is still the strongest creature on the field right now among both of us. Let's uh, cast Ambuscade to, to target uh, Kefnet the Mindful with our skilled Behemoth. Ah, I forgot Kefnet the Mindful is indestructible, so that was a waste. But it doesn't really matter, we still have enough, uh, enough mana to deal with it. Bitter Blade Warrior, excellent. Let's just Alpha Strike the fuck out of him. So he's in a really bad position right now. He's just in a really bad bad position we uh, have full control over the battlefield like this is so goddamn satisfying yes yeah, so let's exert bitter blade warrior he does not have the resources to block all of our attacks at this point he's going to use kefnet the mindful to block uh, our attacks but it won't do him much good we won we just wiped the floor with him god that was very satisfying so, we get to choose from a booster set, either Ammo Kit Remastered or Ammo Kit. Let's go for, for Ammo Kit Remastered. From Ammo Kit Remastered, we get Drake Haven, which is, a, which is an enchantment card, for, which costs one blue mana and two other mana to cast. And it has the effect of whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one mana. If you do, create a 2 slash 2 blue drake creature token with flying. That's not that impressive, honestly. But anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.